Hi you guys, welcome to today's vlog. So I'm gonna jump right in and get started. I'm gonna do like a little day in the life Love today. It. Today I'm gonna do a get it all done with me. I have a list of things I wanna do. It yeah. is later in the day, it is about like 3.30. Um, but I have some stuff I wanna do before I get my husband. As you can see, it's impossible to get anything done with this little dude. What do you have? Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> he actually loves to be filmed, but it's like too much sometimes. Not much. All right, so I got this notebook at Home Goods at the beginning of the year, but I just have a few things. My birthday is coming up. Usually, like, I wouldn't celebrate, but I'm doing it for Lennox. And then, like, we don't live around family, so he'll never get to, like, go to a party, and especially with the pandemic and stuff. So I wanted to make it sort of special for him. I got to figure out, like, cake and stuff like that and balloons. We'll do something small here. So that's one thing on my list. I need to add a few links to my Like to Know It app. Whoa. Plan our vacation. We're hoping to go somewhere this summer. I have to email our apartment complex. We want to go to the zoo. But you have to schedule tickets in advance. And, like, we want my husband to come with because there's so much to do there. I think it would be, like, too fun not to go with him but they're like all booked out on the weekends, like pretty far out. So I'm trying to figure that out. I want to register us at the library now that we live in California. I want to start making a recipe book. So I'm like, I don't want to lose like old fashioned traditions such as like recipe books and photo albums and stuff like that. I think they're very important to be passed down to the next generation. Like. I can't imagine not being able to give Lennox that or if he doesn't care, his future wife that. So it's try it's something I'm trying to keep up with and it's very hard, especially now that all we deal with is like phones and social media, like even a recipe, I'll save it to my Pinterest. Like it doesn't get written down on paper. So I'm trying to keep that old fashioned tradition alive. Um, and that's just one of the things I wanted to share with you. All right. so. To start off, I am going to show you, I started working on the recipe cards last night. Now recipe cards, you can actually get them at Target. I can link them, but I think they're kind of pricey. I made my own on just like index cards. I'm gonna put a hole and then like a ring. And then there's one more I wanted to do. So I'm trying to keep up with that. So far I have this barbecue chicken that I like to make just with like garlic and sugar. Here's a chapati recipe. That's Kenyan, since my husband's Kenyan. It's kind of like a roti or like a, a non type of Indian food, except it's Kenyan. So I have that, and then now I want to do my chicken soup recipe, chicken noodle soup, because Lennox loves it, so I wanna keep that recipe alive as well. Let's get working on that first. All right, so I have Lennox set up over here. He likes watching these motorcycle video games on YouTube, so that will keep him entertained for a little bit while I do this. All right, now I'm finished with that. This is how I do with my recipes. So as you can see at the bottom, I have add 15 shakes of adobo and 10 shakes of garlic powder. And that's really what I do. I add 10 shakes of each. All right, now that I have this finished, I have three recipes. There's one more I wanna add, but my husband has the recipe written down somewhere. I have to get it from him. But I wanna quick show you stuff that I got at Target um, the other day. So I wanted to show you guys a few things, a very mini haul of what I got at Target the other day. So I picked up this beach towel for Lennox. It was only $5 and I saw like a few others throughout the store. The other one was the cheapest one I saw besides this one was $6. So definitely a good deal. I wouldn't consider it to be extra thick. It is soft, um, but because Lennox is tiny, like I don't think it's a big deal that it's not super thick. However, if you have an older child, it might not be for you. It's a 28 inch by 58 inch. So I think it will fit him perfectly. And it just has like these little beach balls on it. And then, here is the mascara I keep hearing everybody rave about, this Sky High Mascara by Maybelline. Um, it's called Last Sensational. So I got it in black. I didn't get waterproof, so it's wa it's washable. I don't know if I love it as much as people say they love it. So you can see, get a look. Like, here's the thing. So the 
The bristles and the brush itself are very soft and flexible. It brands really easily. It's like super flexible and soft. So you can like go over it many times without poking yourself in the eye. I know like the chunkier ones, I'm always afraid that it's gonna like poke me or something, but this one doesn't. And then another positive thing is it takes a while to dry in my opinion. So you can go over it several times before it actually dries. So I'll move on to the next eye and I finish and then I can go back to the other eye, which I feel like with most other mascaras, you can't do that. Um, so yeah, would I buy it again? Probably not. I like my other mascara, but this one, it was nice to try it out. It might not be for everybody. I think maybe if I had an eyelash curler, it would be better. And I also want to show you, I got this top. I don't know if you can tell with the lighting. It's like green, like a sea green and white stripes. Um, I think it's Universal Thread. I'm going to look. But I'll link all this stuff for you. So I love it. I got a large because there's stuff I feel tends to run tight. I think it looks best either tucked in like this. So like very natural and flowy. Because I got a large, this cuts down here. So I'm going to have to stitch it a little bit, which is no problem. I can sew it. And then the other look I like is when it's coiled. So it keeps coming undone, but something similar to this, I think looks cute. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Like this or the tucked in look? I think they're both really nice. And then I'll show you the next item. Here's the next outfit I got, which I absolutely love. So this pleated skirt is super comfortable and it has black and white Dalmatian spots, which you guys know I'm obsessed with because half of my living room is in Dalmatian spots basically and I think it was like $27.99. This is just like a black ribbed tank because it has like the little ridges in it but this was in between five and eight dollars so this whole outfit was a little bit over 30 but I love it. I think you can eat even wear it with sneakers, which I might do. Those are all of the outfits that I got. I wanted to show you. Everything will be linked down below, but there's just like a mini Target haul for you. Lennox has requested his doodle board, so he's gonna play with that and watch his motorcycles while I go make dinner. All right, I am going to make for dinner one of those, what are they called? It's like, I can't remember the name. Is it like a sheet pan recipe where I just put like chicken, green beans, and potatoes on a pan? So nice and simple. Lennox has his car, he's following how it works. Ready? My husband got this for like $5 at Walmart last year. Don't mind the water on the floor. There it goes! So I'm gonna just pop that in the oven, let it cook, and then we will have dinner. Simple. I defrosted chicken earlier, and then I took the skin off because I don't like the fatty part of the chicken. And then... I got a bag of green beans. They were out of the smaller bag, so I got lucky. I got a substitute. And what else did I say I was gonna make? Oh, potatoes. Let's do potatoes. And I'll just chop these up so that they cook much faster. Now that I have dinner made, let's clean this mess up my son made. Now that dinner is made, I, going along with my whole old fashioned living, <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm funny, but seriously. So I wanna show you the photos I printed out last year of Lennox. And like I said, it's been a year, it's dwindled away. I haven't done it, I need to do it. It's on my to-do list. Even if I do like five each month for the past year. That way I'm not like bombarded with all these photos. So let me show you what I have. Okay, told you. Don't print out too many. Lennox is helping me too over here. Let's go check them out. All right, so like last year I ordered a whole bunch from Shutterfly. 
So in here I have three reams of these. Like this was Lennox a year ago. I can't take it. So if anything happens to my social channels or I lose my phone, which I am notorious for doing, I now have a backup. Let me see if I can find ones from when he was really little. Each when he wouldn't even put his feet in the sand, he like refused and now he loves the beach. Lennox, hey, <clears throat> don't lose those pictures. Aww, he was pointing and you were so tiny. Water table last year, I just can't. So look, I am recommending to you guys, you should definitely do it. If your children are grown up, do like two uh, each year two highlights, like a birthday party or their first and last day of school. And then I have this album of when he was just born. There's like a glare, but it has like yeah, his you know, room. Want to want. This little, oh my gosh, this was like the day we brought him home from the hospital. Look at you, Bean. Goodness, look at this outfit. My mom made this sweater for him. His hair was dark. That's so cute. You kind of look like me there. They get one. So from his first year, I think I have. Oh, there's my mom. I think I have his baptism. Was at the Hudson Yards. Here's his baptism. So yeah. And then one last thing I have is this called a baby book. So I have all his records in here. I have to keep up with it. I didn't even do his second birthday. I got to get on that. So like here, you can see I have to work on the family tree. I have to see if I can get pictures from my husband's side. Here's his first photo shoot. That's what he looks like. This talks about like me when I was pregnant. There was me pregnant with Lennox. Show me the picture you have. What picture do you have, Lennox? Sleep, baby, sleep. He didn't sleep very good. So that's that. I think my points have been made. I'm gonna get my son dinner and then the lollipop since he's asking for lollipop. Okay. Okay. Dinner of champions over here. Lennox is eating a lunchable. In my defense, that's the only way I can really get him to eat meat. So don't judge me. The lollipop, so he has to eat that. And also, he is getting very, as you can see, but he will not eat lollipop, very well lollipop. at the table. No. All right, Lennox just finished dinner. He wants to play a little bit, so we'll kill some time before it's time to go to the train station. I will show you guys dinner once it's done. And then, yeah, play, we'll play go from there. Play. What do you want to do, Lenny? Yeah, play with cars. Play with cars? Play cars. Okay, let's do it. I got a toy that he hasn't seen for a while, this Melissa and Doug take along railroad set or small town. So I'll link it for you guys, but he's enjoying it right now. Not sure. It looks like the potatoes and the... I was gonna say asparagus. The green beans are done, but the chicken is not. So do I like remove those things and then keep the chicken in? I don't know, let me show you. What is this here on this chicken? Like, I guess it's getting cooked. I'll leave it a little bit longer, but dinner is about to be served. All right, we are home. The family is messing around over there while I'm here eating ice cream out of a coffee cup. But I have not gotten a whole lot done on my to-do list today. So the party, I guess we're gonna have to go tomorrow and look for party stuff. I did work on my links, that's done. Vacation, not done. Email apartment complex, not done. Zoo, not done. But I'm gonna show you guys how they're all sold out. Library, not done. Recipe book, done. And then h and M. I'm gonna go on now and see if there's any sales. So I'm gonna look at the zoos probably like Oakland and San Francisco. Because hey, hey, the Oakland, it's okay, come here, Peem. Zoom, it's like booked out. But it's also more expensive, so maybe San Francisco's better. Um, and then, no. let's check and see if there's any H&M sales. Keep your eyes open because there has been like a lot lately. Either, it's right there. Either there'll be like free shipping or there will be, um, what do you call it? Like 20% off. So check it out. I'll see what they have today. So I was not in luck today. They definitely did not have any sales going on unless if you were to open a credit card with them. However, I would definitely recommend checking back because like I said, you will find that they have 20% off and free shipping here and there. So keep your eyes out, but no luck today. All right, you guys, it's much later now. So Lennox is in bed. It's like 740 to be exact. 
So H&M, bummer, they don't have any sales going on right now, so that's a no-go. But I would, if I were you, I would keep checking if you're into H&M because they do have things pop up regularly is what I've noticed. And then as far as the zoo, so we can't get into Oakland Zoo like on a weekend, it's pretty far booked out. But San Francisco Zoo does have some times available. However, it looks like they have a lot of areas closed due to COVID and are still charging full price. So I don't, I think we might just hold off for now. Anyway, I didn't get everything done on my to-do list, but I try my very hardest to get as much done as I can. So if you at least accomplish one thing, you accomplish something, just be proud of yourself. You know, we're all working hard, raising our little ones and trying to keep the house afloat. So I am going to end today's vlog right here. I am going to try and edit it today, tonight, so that you'll have it within the next few days. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more vlogs in the future, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and until next, next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.